Hello, good day, viewers. Welcome back once again. This is Chidez online maths class, right? Today, I will be solving this problem here. You know, I posted this on my Facebook page and in different groups, and many people came up with different answers, right? Now, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I solved this problem and the right answer, right? Actually, the graph looks very complicated. It is involving two different lines and a curve or a parabola, right? As we can see, y is equal to x squared, right? Now let us quickly go to the solution to this problem, right? Okay, now I'll be making use of integral calculus, right? Let me see how we're going to solve this problem. The first thing I did here is I drew this straight line from here right and you can see that this point here is 0 comma 4 right so this actually mean that the straight line that passes through the point 0 comma 4 at the, along the y axis right and the negative the other point negative 2 comma 4 this straight line must be y is equal to 4 right but i'm going to show you guys the proof and how i found this out okay now let's make use of the point 0 comma 4 and negative 2 comma 4 just to find this straight line and to prove that the equation of the line is y is equal to 4 right now the general form of this line is equal to y is equal to mx plus c. m and c are unknown constants, right? So now let's make use of the first point, 0, 4. This is where x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 4. So when we substitute, we have 4 is equal to m times 0 plus c. And uh, obviously this implies that c is equal to 4, right? Now let's make use of the second point. You know, already this is equal to 4. We are going to find the coefficient of x. And that's the slope, right? So, when x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to 4. So, here we have 4 is equal to negative 2, m plus 4. And obviously, m is equal to 0. So, we can see that the line is y is equal to 0, x plus 4. Which implies that the equation of the line is y is equal to 4. Cool. Let's go back to the graph. Now, for us to find the area enclosed by this curve and this line, we are going to integrate, right? Because here, this is negative 2. Uh, this is 1. Obviously, this is 0. And uh, down here, right? So, down here, this is 2. So now we're going to integrate, right, from negative 2 to 2, the line y is equal to 4 minus the curve x squared dx, right? Okay, so that's what we're going to do from here. Don't forget that this is 1, right? So now, what about the remaining parts of this region here, which makes up a triangle? How can we find the area? Now look at the next thing I did. Now I have to draw down this line here. And this line cut this triangle into two right triangles. Isn't that cool? Yes, of course. Because from here, we can see now that the base of this triangle here is one unit. And the height, that is from four to six, that will give us two. And this height here makes up the base of this bigger right triangle, which is 2. And also, what about the height? The height is going to be 3, right? Because from this point to this point here is 3 units, right? So we have here 3. So let's call this big triangle area as area 1. The small triangle here, the area as area 2. And the area enclosed by this line, y is equal to 4, and the curve, y is equal to x squared, area 3. And the sum of this area makes up the area enclosed by the lines and the curve, right? 
Let us go and find the area 1, right? We are going to make use of the formula for calculating the area of a triangle. So here area 1 is equal to half times base times height. And that is equal to half times the base that is 1 times height which is 2. Okay, so that is area 2. Okay, let's start with that. Yes, let's go back to the graph. That is obviously the area 2, right? Okay, so from here we get this is equal to 1 square units, right? Okay, now what about area 1? So area 1 is half times base times height. And obviously according to the graph, we have half times the base which is 2 times height which is 3. And this is equal to 3 square units, right? Now, the area 3 is where we are going to integrate from negative 2 to 2. Then the line y is equal to 4 minus the curve y is equal to x squared dx, right? And when we integrate this, this is 4x minus x cubed over 3. Then we delimit from negative 2 to 2, right? So now let's put the upper limit first. So we have 4 times 2 minus 2 cubed over 3. Then minus the lower limit, 4 times negative 2 minus negative 2 cubed over 3, right? So from here, the area 3 is equal to, you know, this from here, we have 4 times 2, which is 8, right? So we have 8 minus here, 8 all over 3, obviously. Then here minus, from here, let us go to this first, because negative 2 cubed is negative 8. With this, this is positive sign, right? So here we have plus 8 all over 3, and here we have negative 8. And with the negative sign, we are going to have plus 8, then minus 8 over 3. And simplifying this properly, this will give us 32 all over 3 square units, right? So now combining the areas, we give us the area enclosed by the line and the curve. So we have the area of the region is equal to area 1 plus area 2 plus area 3. And this is equal to area 1 is 3 square units plus area 2, 1, then plus area 3, 32 over 3. And simplifying this properly, this will give us 44 all over 3 square units. And that's the right answer. Thank you for watching. Please do wait to subscribe to my channel. Also like, comment, and share. Bye-bye.